Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be going through some of the new host controls in Google Meet. Now you can find some of these under the Show Everyone tab. So if I click here, one of the first things you'll see is the Mute All button. Previously, if you wanted to mute somebody as the host, you could click on the three dots and mute them. But now if you've got a whole class, lots of people you want to mute, you can click on the Mute All button and it will mute everyone in the session. Over on the right hand side, you can see the host controls option. If I click on here, I get the option to stop everyone else sharing their screen. And now this is, can be important because I don't want other people interrupting me when I'm sharing my screen. I can also turn the ability to add chat messages on or off. If I then click on view all host settings, I see an option for quick access. So this is turned on at the moment so people can easily join my call. But if I turn this off, it means that I must be the first one on the call and people can't join without me. Um, only people I've invited can join without asking and people can't join anonymously. And lastly, the only host can dial out of the meeting. So that does make your call a bit more secure. The last function I want to show you is about leaving the call. If I click on leave call, I get this option, whether I just leave the call myself or if I end the call. If I do just leave the call myself, then I do get the option to rejoin. So if I click rejoin here, just turn my mic off, and then I can rejoin the call. And that's been going continuously. Now, if I do choose to leave the call and end the call for everyone, that means all users are then removed from that meeting, which does mean that any lingering students in the call aren't left unattended. So hopefully these new host features will let you lead more effective and secure Google Meets.